CCR Forza Tifosi Challenge, round two. There's a lot of excitement this weekend. We have two races going on, so let's go to the garage and check things out. rookie at CCR in Daytona. So this is your first race? It is, and I'm very excited to be here. It's such an historic track. Well, um, what class are you in? I run a 430 Ferrari Challenge car. So why do you drive a 430 instead of a 355? Well, I was looking forward to this question. The 430 is the fastest of all the CCR classes. And like any race car driver, I want to go as fast as possible. So what are your hobbies back home? Oh, I love racing. That's that's really my life right now, and I want to do as much of that as possible. But racing is my my main, and that's enough of a hobby. You don't need another hobby when you race. Life's short. You got to have fun, and and you only get one chance to do it. So this is a this is my chance. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Good luck today, and hopefully we see you in the winner's circle. Thanks, Beth. I look forward to seeing you at the next race. Hi, this is Carly, and I'm here in Daytona with John. I'm gonna ask him a couple questions. How do you feel about today? Oh, it's a great day out here today. It's actually my first time at Daytona on the track and uh, it's quite an unbelievable experience. It's a lot of fun. Awesome, it's my first time too. Um, so what class car do you drive? I drive a 355 class. The 355 class is probably is the smallest of the series. Um, you know, there are a lot of new guys coming in with 355s, which is a lot of fun. And, um, you know, we're a kind of a tight-knit group because we're sort of the, the old and in the way cars. And, um, but we have a good time. And, um, you know, Rob and, and Colin are both great drivers that are here today. So it's going to be a lot of fun out there. Well, thank you, John, for talking with me. Um, I'll see you later in the race, and I hope you do really well, and hope you see you in the in the winner's circle. <laughs> me too. Thanks so much. Appreciate thank you. Bye -bye. So, Joe, why do you race? Um, you know, I race because this, this is our passion. This is what we do. It's... Um, this is Ferrari passion. This is legalized drugs. <laughs> and really good ones, too. Expensive ones. Expensive. <laughs> oh, but yeah, but all drugs are expensive. But these are really, really good ones, too. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, it's just there's nothing. I, I can't think of anything that even comes close to this. Yeah, it's really it's really awesome. Yeah. You know, sometimes I'm in the middle of the race, and I'll I'll be thinking, and I'll look down, and it's like that Ferrari horse, you know, and you're, you're looking, you're on the bank, you got Daytona, that Ferrari horse, and there's the Ferraris around, a pack of Ferraris in front of you, behind you, and you're going, wow, how yeah. did this happen? You know, it's cool. It's really pretty neat. It's, it's, it's really pretty neat. Created well, something that's fantastic. Well, you, you, you make it fantastic. It's the guys that make it fantastic. Uh, today was a tough race. Grab pole early on, got out to a great start. Um, I think we might have had a 10, 15 second lead, uh, and then a right rear tire blowout uh, after four or five laps. So had to park and watch my friends have fun. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but did you have fun? Up until up until that point, it was a whole lot of fun. But uh, hopefully, uh, a little better luck tomorrow. We'll we'll keep all four tires in one piece and uh, get a better result. Hill, how did the race go for you today? Uh, it went pretty well. We uh, had a lot of problems in the morning. We were chasing some tire issues and some transmission problems. So we didn't get a lot of clean laps. Um, so the race was kind of like a practice session. You know, come up to speed. So we did, we came up to speed. I thought we reduced our lap times pretty nicely and um, we were lucky enough to get third place and it was fantastic. I mean, it was a great day, uh, great racing and uh, it was a lot of fun.
here with Ken Marlin. How did the race go for you? The race went absolutely fabulously. I was I was second to uh, a guy who was a very good driver, but I will I will get him. I will get him before the season's over. I'm thinking I have to do one of two things. Either I have to go faster, or I have to do something that causes Peter Castellana to go slower. I'm working on both. I'm thinking maybe I tie a boat anchor to the back of his car just to sort of slow him down a little bit on the straights, and then I'll push the pedal a little harder next time. Thank you, thank you. It was fantastic. It was, uh, I started seventh place, um, and I hadn't qualified back that far in a while, so I see all the cars in front, and uh, a little bit of uh, luck from someone's bad luck. Joe uh, Rubo had a, had a, had a problem uh, with the car, and then a tire blew out in front of me, um, so I got those in two places, but then I had a fantastic race with Anthony. Uh, he's just, this was like third event, and I was behind him. I knew that he would make a mistake, but he didn't. So it was just a, uh, finally ended up getting him at turn one. Uh, it was just, it was a good, uh, it was a very good race. Really well, congratulations. Good. You want to celebrate tonight? Yes, we are. We're going to celebrate. <laughs>